The second book in the Bobo and Iris series by Celia Strauss and Tina Salverson is called New Friends for Bobo. And it begins like this. Bobo loved living at the Elephant Sanctuary with his friend Iris and his new mommy, Kindani. But sometimes he felt lonely. One day, Iris and Bobo were watching two baby elephants, Tabu and Pika Pika, playing in a mud puddle. Tabu was bigger than Bobo, and Pika Pika was the smallest. Pika Pika climbed on Tabu, lost her balance, and they both fell. They laughed and blew muddy water at each other with their trunks. They look like they're having fun, Iris, Bobo said. They are having fun, Iris replied, and the mud protects their tender skin from the sun and bugs. Why don't you go and play with them? she asked. Bobo sighed. <sighs> they haven't invited me. They don't know you want to play with them, said Iris. Go over and ask if you can join in. Oh, Iris, what if they say no? Well, you never know unless you try. Bobo walked slowly over to the mud puddle and stood there. Say something, Iris whispered. Like what? Bobo whispered. How about, hi, I'm Bobo. Before Bobo could say a word, Pika Pika said, hi Bobo. How did you know my name? Bobo asked with surprise. We heard your new mommy Kindani call you Bobo, said Pika Pika. Also, everyone knows when a new elephant comes into our family, added Tabu. We're all baby elephants who've lost their mommies, just like you. Do you want to play? asked Tabu. Mm, maybe, said Bobo. Don't leave me, Iris, he whispered. Are you kidding me? Iris flew into the air, flapping her wings like a giant butterfly. Play in the mud with a bunch of baby elephants. I'll stand and watch, thank you very much. And we'll have to see. You'll have to see. Anyway, I shall read ahead. What happens when, um, when Bobo plays with the elephants? But let me tell you, a little secret. It tends to end rather muddily. <laughs>